Hello and welcome to NOV Live. I'm Michael Gaines and glad you're joining us today as we continue our conversation, bringing you technical experts and conversations with those who are helping make an impact in the energy industry around the world. So glad you're joining us as we bring you some new innovations and technologies that uh, we think will be of interest to those, especially uh, as we look at uh, advancements in fracking and uh, what that means for overall operational efficiencies. And so we've got a, a great guest today uh, that will help shed some light on uh, what that's looked like here at NOV and uh, some real world uh, eyes on in terms of what, uh, what those advancements look like. So uh, you'll definitely want to stick around today for that. Before we get into our conversation, we are going to bring in Shelby Domain to talk about how you can be a part of today's conversation as well as what that looks like in terms of your participation. So Shelby, good to see you today. Good to see you as well, Michael. Uh, so longtime viewers of the show will know if you would like to get involved and ask our expert any questions, you can do so by commenting, uh, whether you're on Facebook, LinkedIn, or YouTube. Go ahead and type in your question, hit send, and uh, I'm looking at all of the questions the entire time, all of the comment sections throughout the show. So if you have any questions, we're going to start putting those together. And then at the end, we're going to get as many of those answered as time will allow. And uh, we really appreciate that. I love seeing um, where everyone you know, is, is watching from as well. So if you'd like to comment now and, and let us know where you're viewing from, I, I love seeing that as well. And um, if you have any, uh, and if you want to get more um, NOV Live, you can't get enough, you can watch past episodes at NOV.com slash live. And um, if you have any questions on those past episodes, you can actually reach out to us still. We want to get your questions answered, whether it's, you know, today on this live show or even if you're watching a past episode. So if you're watching one of those past ones, you can email us at social media at NOV.com. That email is on screen now, so you can reach out to us there and we'll get you in touch with our um, amazing experts. Uh, but again, if you have a question today, like always, you can comment it below and we're going to get to as many um, as we can before the end. And uh, all those are all the different ways that you can ask us your questions. But now it is time where I ask you a question. So it's time for Rig Geek Post of the Week. Rig Geeks Post of the Week. All right. And as always, the Rig Geek question is a little bit of a hint of what we're going to be talking about. Uh, so I'm going to ask a trivia question. If you think you know it, comment it. And then at the end of the show, we're going to reveal the answer. So this week, since we're talking about fracking technology, I'm asking you, uh, modern day fracking can trace its roots back to um, L Lieutenant Colonel Edwards A.L. Roberts and his exploding torpedo. What year was this first patented? So we're asking kind of really, really stretching back into the history books. What year was the exploding torpedo, the kind of beginnings of what would become um, fracking technology patented? That's pretty good. You know? Yeah, I'll, I'll be interested to see some of the comments there because uh, I, I think it's, we're gonna, we, I'm never surprised. I say I'm surprised and then I'm never surprised <laughs> uh, really when uh, our audience comes through in spades. So that's a, that's a good one. A little bit of a, a history one. Great. Mm -hmm. we'll look forward to seeing the comments and questions uh, in today's conversation. So thanks, Shelby. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and pivot into uh, our main topic today and uh, going to be talking about some technologies, specifically uh, the FracMax and Quick Latch uh, technologies uh, and what that looks like, especially as we look at uh, fracking operations today. So our guest today is uh, Mr. Ryan Nygaard, who is the U.S. sales manager uh, and covers these technologies. So, Ryan, thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right. Well, we are uh, going to dive in here. I know that uh, for those that have uh, followed this conversation, some some are familiar with with the uh, the names that I mentioned with the FracMax and, and Quick Latch, but as always, we don't don't want to assume that uh, that everyone knows. So, for the benefit of those that might not be as familiar, can you walk us through Ryan a little bit more on what uh, an overview of the FracMax and Quick Latch technologies? 
Yeah, I'd be happy to. So um, our FracMax technology is our eight inch articulating arm. Um, we've got a great video here that uh, marketing put together kind of showcasing uh, the two solutions. So right now you're seeing what a typical frac site would look like. Um, so we partnered with Liberty Oil Field Services to eliminate exactly what that equipment is going away there, which is your zipper manifold and replace it with a big bore technology, a single streamlined piece of equipment that could uh, get rid of all that costly iron and uh, speed up, uh, rig up, rig down, and improve efficiency. So that's where the FracMax initially started with. Uh, we started this conversation way back in 2017, uh, so it's been a long time coming. Right now they're touching a little bit on our big bore uh, manifold technology, uh, but everything started with the FracMax and what it was trying to eliminate for the customer. So right there you see our system. Um, it's all encased, all single uh, trailer design. can hook into a big bore. Um, that flow rate's a little off. It can actually do 130 barrels per minute, and then it allows you to reach out and seamlessly connect to your wells and begin fracturing from a distance. Then the quick latch technology was actually designed with our Elmar team. Uh, they came to the table on that side so that you can actually connect the frac max to the top of the wellhead and be able to do the fracturing service as well as the wireline service. So again, it streamlines your whole system into single single technology, big bore, which is uh, the name of the game right now in the fracturing world. So I mean, it look and it looks like that that's a really good representation of. Um, you know the, the the concept of what what it could look like. I'm interested to know what it does look like. And so what I mean is, do you have real footage to kind of show folks that hey, you know what what we what we envision and reality, you know, is 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 kind of here. Yeah, animations are great, but there's always that time where you actually want to see what it looks like in right. the field, getting dirty and, and some snow and some weather. So um, this is the Frac Max actually on a job in the DJ Basin in Colorado. Um, so you can actually see the arm, um, not just through computer animation, actually going down. That's your stinger stabbing in to the quick latch, uh, which will then engage, and then they can uh, begin their fracturing service. So again, what you typically see on a site would be a ton of octopus arms of iron all going up there and it's just a, a real mess and a lot of leak points, um, a lot of safety concerns. Now you have this seamless one piece of equipment stabbing into the wellhead. Um, you also have the operator that uh, you saw there quickly can stand out of the red zone and be able to um, connect the system into place and uh, do it fast and efficiently. Mm. So again, it's nice to actually see some pictures of the system stabbing in and working actually in the field. Right. Right. Yeah. No. And that I, I, I appreciate it. And, and certainly for those that are familiar with the space uh, to to your comments, uh, maybe some of his historically what, what that picture would have looked like um, could could uh, be a, maybe a little bit uh, different considerations in terms of, you know, leak points or, or others. So good to see and, and really interesting to see how you're able to create an innovation uh, with end users to, to solve that uh, that challenge. Yeah, what it's removed is is night and day, right? What you have seen on a typical frat site for the last couple of decades um, is gone. And that's what our customers are pushing us towards is how can they eliminate more equipment, more leak points, how can it be safer, but also faster? Because they're pressuring us to, uh, the frat jobs are just getting bigger, they're not getting smaller. So, you know, it, for those that have been uh, tuned in, you know, we've been talking about uh, frac max and, and quick latch and, and, and I know Words matter, and and so I, I wanted to talk a little bit about the use of those uh, the the phrasing and and how we're we're trying to to position that for the frac max phrasing. Yeah, uh, just just with the marketing of it, or yeah. So I, I know that we're the combining of the the wording on on those is is something that that we're we're continuing to to work with folks on, and so I'm, I might be. Uh, uh, you know, you're right. You're right. It's it's more around the big bore technology, um, right? Which I'll, I'll touch on a little bit later. Is sure. How that all, it all started with the frac max. That was sure. that was our, our first uh, you know dip of the toe in there with the big bore technology. But successfully completing that, doing it, getting out and field testing has opened up a ton of other products for NOV. And it's right. all around big bore. Big bore is kind of the main name, and then under that you have your frac hoses, your frac max, your big bore manifold. Um, they all have that tagline of big bore. Mm. Got it. When you, you know, so it's good to see some of the footage regarding uh, the one that the, the systems being used uh, real world out out in the in the field now. So uh, where where does the system work? I kind of want to dive into that aspect of the of the technology. 
yeah, that's a great question. So, you know, when we initially came out with this system, um, you know, we weren't really sure how, what, of all the plays, this would come into play and throughout the, the U.S. basins. But what we've really found uh, where this really um, provides a lot of advantages to the customer is in tight well spacings. So you see a lot of those in Pennsylvania. Um, some of those pad sites, they're on the side of a mountain. Um, it's even hard to turn a truck around. So if you can eliminate a footprint, iron, equipment, um, tripping hazards, uh, you know, I've been on some of these sites where um, just to get from one into the other is a challenge in itself. So the Frac Max eliminating all of that iron out there uh, has a huge advantage. And then the second one is when you have tight uh, uh, well proximity. So um, if some of your wells are 12, 15 feet apart, um, this is great because, again, again, you're eliminating a ton of iron, a ton of stuff all congested in, and you have this seamless technology where you can move from well to well, and you don't have to have all of that equipment um, rigged up to each well bore. Hmm. And I know so that... So primarily... Oops, sorry, go ahead. No, please. Uh, primarily the DJ Basin, so Colorado and PA, we've seen um, the biggest interest in this system. And then uh, there's been some uh, interest in South Texas as well. Just to, Again, it depends on the operator, depends on what their situation is. So it, it's customizable to... to what their needs are. So as you've deployed the the, the FRACMAX and uh, quick latch technologies and really had those conversations with uh, with customers, uh, what are the advantages that, that they're seeing that they've communicated uh, back to you? Uh, the biggest one, first and foremost, is rig up time. Um, they wheel in a trailer and they separate the two ends out and uh, it, it takes away a ton of rig up time of iron. You'd have to think to make up that connection that that uh, trailer or the frac max is eliminating. That's a lot of joints, 90s, swivels. They all got to be hammered in. That's a ton of leak points and it's all got to be pressure tested to make sure it, it, it if there's a leak, you got to go back and find it. So rig up, rig down time are the biggest. And then efficiencies, right? Uh, that big bore eight inch iron can, can pump 130 barrels per minute. That's what customers want. They want to see that seamless uh, flow rate in there, and they don't have any um, drop between the two wells, which is, in, in their minds, a big big win. Plus, there's the extra safety factor where um, it's been known that some people uh, frack the wrong well uh, just by accident. With this, you can't, right? You're moving the system over. You know exactly which one you're in. So uh, I found that interesting when some feedback came to me, but uh, it was a really good point. I did not realize that was a problem and something we, uh, we solved uh, unbeknown to us. Hmm. So for those that uh, have just joined us in the last few minutes, we're talking with Mr. Ryan Nygaard, who is the U.S. sales manager, and we are talking about uh, the FRACMAX and Quick Latch uh, technologies. So if you have any questions for Ryan uh, regarding uh, FRACMAX or Quick Latch or um, anything that we've talked about so far today, uh, feel free to type in your question in the chat box, whether you're watching us on LinkedIn, Facebook, or YouTube. And we'll look to get as many of those questions in today uh, during our conversation with Ryan. So uh, Ryan, another key item that I'm sure uh, uh, folks are wanting to know, and, and certainly from an operational standpoint, is understanding uh, synergies or integration more specifically. So can you talk a little bit about how uh, FRACMAX and Quick Latch integrate into uh, the existing operations? Because I know that's that's a High, high on the list of uh, want to knows from from folks that are interested in this space. Yeah, synergies is you know obviously a big thing, um, and you kind of touched on it, what it, what's our marketing campaign. So it, it all goes around the big bore technology, and and like I said earlier, the frac max started it all. Um, it was our customers coming to us saying we have a pain point, we'd like to eliminate this iron, and then after achieving that, they said, okay, what else can you do? So here's another great animation um, our marketing team came up with that kind of showcases everything we have. So one of those other new technologies which I talked about before is our Flex Connect. So we're eliminating all the iron that you would have seen from your pump to your missile, making that seamless one connection. Um, customers are loving that and seeing that integration into the big bore missile, which then again allows you to get that. Uh, uh, true flow rate that everyone's looking for. Um, so again, you're, you're, you're cleaning up the site, which was, again, started with the FRACMAX, which then goes into our big bore frac hose, which can go from your missile right into the FRACMAX itself. So again, you're eliminating a bunch of costly iron. Um, it can eliminate ups, downs, left, right, because you have a flexible hose. So you can make up a lot of, uh, a lot of efficiencies on rig up. And then that transitions into your frac max to your quick latch. So it all it all started with a frac max, but it's gone from the front to the back. So NOV basically, when it comes to a big bore solution, um, we've got your needs covered. Um, whatever you're looking for, we have some solution in there, and it's very customizable to our customers and to the basins that they work in. 
big bore solutions covered. I like it. I uh, I think I could be a, a new T-shirt. I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, but no, that's that's great. I, I appreciate the the feedback. And, and as always, uh, I know that viewers are always interested in looking for ways to get additional uh, insight and information. So I'm sure, uh, given our conversation today, you've rattled off some great feedback and responses. So I'm sure you have one for this as well. So where where can uh, viewers go to find more information on FrackMax and QuickLens. Uh, yeah, we've actually created a website because Big Bore is just such an encompassing product. There's so many different ones that go in there. So you can go to nov.com slash Big Bore Frack. Uh, that'll get you anything on hoses, uh, manifolds, FrackMax, QuickLatch, all the information's there at a fingertip and you can ask any questions you want and one of our um, NOV representatives will get back to you. Great. All right. Well, I think that's been really good. Um, one of the things that I always look forward to is hearing the questions from those that have been listening to our conversation. So I like to get out of the way so that we can get to the root, what folks really want to have, which is uh, the, the Q&A from our expert here. So uh, to do that, we'll bring Shelby Domain in to get those questions answered. Hey, Shelby. Mm -hmm. Hey, Michael. Uh, so I'm going to start off with a really great question. I just I just love it on LinkedIn from Rod Nicholson. He asked, how big is Big Bore? Uh, can you talk about the diameters or any other as far as uh, sizing goes? Yeah, so on a Frac Max, uh, we say it's eight inch. Uh, the ID is 7.62, uh, just to, to give you the actual specific number for the Big Bore. Um, our eight inch iron is, uh, sorry, our eight inch frac hose is through eight, a true eight inch all the way through. So um, basically the smallest point is the Frac Max, which is 7.62. Mm -hmm. Excellent, thank you. I love it, these kind of rapid fire question and answers. That was a, a great one from Rod. Um, Next, I wanted to talk a little bit to uh, Terry McDonald, also on LinkedIn. So uh, one of the questions, actually, this might be a first I can answer, and then his other um, I have for, for you, Ryan. Uh, so his first one, he asked if this uh, will be downloaded, and I, it, it's not downloadable, uh, this actual presentation, the video. However, you can watch it at any point at nov.com slash live. So if you need to refer back to anything we've talked about today, um, that'd be the place. Uh, and then to answer his next question, he asked if we have any diagrams of quick latch um, to view for an understanding. And so that I wanted to ask more you, Ryan, um, you mentioned NOV.com slash big bore frack. Is that where he could find more information or should he reach out um, to y'all via uh, that page or, or can you talk a little bit to that? I would go to the page. Um, there's going to be some some breakdowns and some diagrams of, of the quick latch. But if you want some more drawings and some in-depth information that might buy, not buy a, on the site, I would just uh, send us a quick email. I've uh, got lots of stuff, uh, lots of great animations specifically on the Frack Max. That site, like I said, NOV.com slash Big Bore Frack's got a ton of great stuff. Um, the videos that you've seen, the animations are all posted on YouTube as well. But if there's something else you want some more questions on, we've got a lot of great marketing material that um, all of our groups have put together. So we can definitely probably get you the information you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And and if he or anyone else wants to contact anybody, also on that that page there, there should be a contact us button that they can click, and that'll get them in touch with um, someone who can who can more directly answer any questions they have as well. A hundred percent. As soon as you log into it, there's one right on the side that says contact us. So we know there's a lot of questions. Um, Big Bore is is a vast amount of things that it brings into the table. So if they want to dive into something specific, we're happy to help. Absolutely. And before I get to my next question, I just got to you. I knew you were worried about if anyone was going to notice a, a certain jersey in the background. And you actually we have gotten one comment. Um, they say you might need to switch it out, but I'll, I'll let you all maybe you, you can do get out in the comments with them later. That's fine. My team's not doing so great. So I figured it was coming. <laughs> yeah. So the next one I want to ask is now that um, it has been in the field, can you talk a little bit about maybe what you've what y'all have learned from um, from seeing it go actually, you know, operating in the field, maybe what improvements have been made? Yeah, so obviously when you get out with a new piece of technology, there's a learning curve. And, and most of our customers, obviously, since we partnered with Liberty Oil Field Services, they were very accommodating to that and knew there'd be some hiccups. So um, what we've learned is, you know, we went a little bit aggressive on some of the safety features on the quick latch. So we've actually simplified that system, taken away some of the components, um, still keeping that safety element there, but making it a little bit more efficient and then less repair parts, spare parts. So that's been a big change on that. And then just improving some of the operations within the hand pumps, um, electronics 
next just communication. So um, there's been little tweaks, but for the, the meat and potatoes of the actual system, nothing has really changed between the Frac Max and the Quick Latch. Um, it's just been slight changes here to keep the efficiencies and improvement. So, and that's been working with our customers and the operators on feedback. Um, and that's what you need when you launch a piece of equipment. The first one's never going to be what it's going to be. So we're on, I think, version five, just with some of our uh, some changes, and um, it, it's working well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. I, I think it's really interesting to see kind of the evolution of things as as you know we keep learning and growing. So that's really excellent. And uh, I did want to ask a next question. So kind of on the topic, you mentioned safety, and I know earlier you talked about um, how you know, and we could see in the video is taking the operator out of the red zone. Can you, so can you just more specifically just talk about um, why this is more safe and, and just dive in a little bit more on, on safety? Uh, yeah, so I mean the biggest thing obviously is when fracturing is going on, right? Most most operations now have three, uh, two, there's some two wells, but most are three to four. So they might not be fracking on this well, but they're doing wireline on the others. So they want to eliminate people being in the red zone. It's it's purely for safety. Um, you know, that's that's the danger zone. So they want to get people out of there as much as possible. So with the frac max being controlled, remote control wise, you can step out of that. You can um, switch between the wells. Uh, you can lock the quick latch into place all out of the red zone. So you don't need to get in there and put people into a situation that uh, might be dangerous. And that's just what our operators and that's what the frac companies want is less people in those uh, red zone areas. Mm -hmm. No doubt. And uh, so for this last question, I wanted to ask, um, uh, you know, still, you know, we talked about, you know, all the different versions and, and it being in the field, but how long has it been operating in the field? Uh, so we were out working in, end of 2019 into 2020. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, the world kind of stopped turning there for a couple of months, but we've been back out now since Q4, uh, consistently working uh, 2020. So it's gone from job to job to job. Um, the customers like it. It's getting uh, a lot more feedback, a lot more exposure. Um, I go out to every site that's been there and uh, it's going smoother and smoother um, as the field hands get more familiar with it and the operators understand exactly what the system can do and the advantages. So uh, it's been great to see that consistent, uh, consistent workload. All right. And with that, uh, we'll uh, leave you, Ryan, with the last word. I know that we've talked uh, a lot about FRACMAX and Quick Latch. Uh, and so I'll, I'll give you the, the last word here in, in our conversation today. Uh, if you need to leave our audience with a, a nugget of, of info or, or things to think about, uh, what is that from your side? Uh, when it comes to big board solution, um, you know, there's there's no uh, hard and fast rule. Uh, it comes down to every customer's needs and what they want. So that's the great thing with what NOV's got to the table is we've got a lot of customizable features. So uh, it's coming to us with your pain points, and then we'll uh, come to you with some solutions. Ryan Nygaard uh, with NOV talking about the FracMax Quick Latch Big Bore solutions here at NOV. So uh, Ryan, appreciate the time and insight today. Thank you very much. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get the answer to our Rig Geek post of the week. So uh, historian Shelby Dumaine, uh <laughs> gave us uh, gave us one that uh, caused us to have to reach into the history books, right? So what was that uh, question? That's right. So I wanted to know um, if any of our Rig Geeks knew about modern how modern day fracking can trace its roots back to Lieutenant Colonel, uh, let me get Edwards A.L. Roberts and his exploding torpedo patent. And I wanted to know specifically what year um, was it patented? And do you want to throw in any last guesses before before we before yeah, I reveal I, it? I, I know I'm not going to because I, I just I struggle at this all the time. I, I, I'm, I'm always outguessed by our great viewers, so I'll, I'll leave it to them. All right. Well, something I didn't mention was the actual war that Lieutenant Colonel um, Edwards Roberts was a veteran of, because that would give it away. Mm -hmm. um, he was a veteran of the Civil War. So that puts the patented at 1865. Oh, wow. He yeah. actually um, used this technology a few years pri uh, previously during the war in 1862. Um, but patented the exploding torpedo in 1865. Wow. So we, we can trace the roots all the way um, back to the Civil War. And there you go. So our our Rig Geek uh, trivia of the day. And I, I tell you what, uh, actually, I know that we normally get uh, some of these insights from uh, from folks here at NOV, Shelby, but I'm, I'm sure that you'd be open to having some uh, of our viewers and, and fellow mm -hmm. Rig Geeks submit some questions for you to use on future shows. 
Oh, I would love it. Absolutely. And they can, if they want to do that, you can absolutely email. Um, it comes, it comes right to me, uh, social media at NOV.com. If you have any ideas or suggestions for future rig geek questions, I'm always all ears. I would love that. All right. Great. Well, that was uh, good. Well, I appreciate it, Shelby. And uh, certainly appreciate all of our viewers and those that tuned in to our conversation today. As again, a quick reminder, if you would like to find more information on today's topic, uh, you can head over to NOV.com forward slash big bore frack. And there you can get in touch with Ryan or others as well as find additional information on uh, the quick latch and uh, frack max technologies. So from all of us here at NOV, we appreciate you. Thank you for watching and listening, and we'll talk to you again next time.